Let's talk about anxiety. That is so refreshing. I was just outside. The dog with the most anxiety has decided to join us. So yes, sorry, I feel like I was way too close to the camera. Let's talk about something that is very prominent in my life, and that is anxiety. I feel like it's a, it's a big thing in a lot of people's lives. Um, it affects a lot of people. Just many Americans around the world have anxiety. Um, I'm Canadian, so I, yeah. Should I bring up some statistics? I don't know. But I'm gonna talk about how I handle my anxiety. Um, it's, it's not gonna be number, like it's not gonna be 100% every day. Like you're not gonna be able to make every day perfect or better, but that's okay because there's always tomorrow. But what you can do is take care of yourself and do these different tasks to help you get through the day. Because sometimes it feels like the day is even longer because you're just constantly panicking and it's not fun and your body's exhausted. I hope that these tips can help you. Um, maybe even watching this video might help you. I'm not a, I'm pretty low energy. Like there's some videos where I'm like laughing and like a little bit louder, but like for the most part, this is like how I talk. So ladies and gentlemen, get your drinks. I have iced tea. I think in America you call the sweet tea. So this is how I handle like my anxiety, the different tasks that I personally do. Um, so it might help with you. The first one is hang out with pets. I know that everybody can do this because not everybody has pets, but I really like to hang out with my pets when I'm anxious. Going for walks really help. Huxley just hangs out with me constantly, so that's also a huge help. Um, but going for like walks or strolls, sorry, I don't know. I, sometimes when I say the W word, they get like really cray cray. Um, but we are Zen today, aren't we? He just doesn't care. He's like, can we nap now? Um, my dogs just like help me in so many different ways. They mean the whole world to me. My dog Huxley is very good for making me feel safe and protected. Oreo is comforting in the sense where she will, um, she'll cuddle any time of day. Any time of day, anywhere. She loves to sit on my lap. Um, she's very soft. And so I just like to pet her and like we cuddle and it's really chill. Um, and then Freckles is just funny. She makes me laugh every day because she is like, she's a beagle, she's a small beagle and does like really funny stuff that makes me laugh every day. And I love my cats for various reasons like they're chill. They are also quite funny sometimes. Um, they're, they're very comforting as well. So my pets help like immensely. I hope I'm using the word right. They help a lot for my anxiety. So they do a lot for me and they don't even realize it. They don't want nothing in return. They just want you to take care of them. They're very kind, 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 gentle souls. And the next one is clean your room or house. I like my phone case, look at that. Next one is clean your room or house. This is very hard if you also have like depression or if you've been panicking all day and you're exhausted from it. So that sometimes this one is especially difficult for me. So I find that cleaning on the days that I do feel a little bit motivated, I can still be anxious, but also still motivated. And it keeps my mind off of things and it makes me feel better. Like when I clean my room, I feel better. And like I sweep floors, I get the Roomba going, I clean the kitchen, um, I clean my bathroom, I like to organize my stuff. I love, love organizing my stuff for my business because in our office, we have all our business stuff in there and I love going and organizing it. Um, I love organizing stuff in my room. It's very, um, makes you feel like you accomplished something. And even if it's just a little thing, like I cleaned off my desk or I, I changed my PC setup. Like it's, it's comforting. Cause it's like, I did something today. Oh, peace out. Clean your room or your house or literally anything you want. You want to clean your windows, clean your freaking windows. So a little rule that I live by is if I am really, really anxious, I like to have something I can smell, something I can like kind of see and um, texture and hearing too, yeah. So I like to have a candle going 
The other day I was a little bit anxious, so I had my um, Charmed Aroma candle going. I have like a Winnie the Pooh one. It smells really, really good. It's like honey, apple, and vanilla scented. Mm, chef's kiss, I love it. I'm on that Winnie the Pooh necklace grind so that I could finally get the necklace. I've never had a Charmed Aroma before, but I'm thinking that it's really just at the bottom and I'm, how am I gonna get there, you know? For something I can see, I can have something on the TV, um, you know, or I can have um, just it being very calming in here by having, this is not making any sense. Wow, what a sentence. Um, if I can see light or whatever. So I like to have my twinkly lights going, I have them above my bed. Um, those are nice. And the candle, when the candle's going and it's glowing in my room, that's what I like. So having it like dark or when the, like the sun's starting to go down so it's all golden outside, you, I love to let that light in. I feel much better in the evenings than during the day, I would say. Unless it's really, really late at night, then I get a little bit anxious because I've been scrolling through Instagram, which brings me to my next one. You can go on TikTok and stuff like that, but be really, really cautious and careful and um, self-aware, I guess. So like when you go on TikTok, it's really, really easy to like disassociate and like like be on it for hours. I have wasted nights, like actual full nights on TikTok. Maybe it wasn't so much of a waste because I'm trying to find ideas of TikToks I can make because I like making TikToks and I like new ideas and stuff like that. Um, or if I want like to maybe do a video about a certain TikTok or whatever, I guess. But I've like wasted time on there for sure. I'd say that it's okay though, because it's like, it's not about getting that time back. It's like you spent that time and that's okay. Now you can be more cautious on how you spend your time in the future, if that makes sense. If you find that you like going on TikTok and it makes you feel better and distracts you for a little bit, that's good. Like, um, I like videos that have dogs in it. I like funny ones that are gonna make me laugh. I like ones that are gonna make me think. But sometimes you have to be careful because there's some like up sh on there for real. If it's a mess back there, just ignore that, please. Another thing that you can do is uh, do your makeup. I tried doing my makeup today and it failed really bad. So I took it off and it like was making my eyes really itchy. So I'm kind of just over it currently. And I was having a little bit of meltdown because my boyfriend was over and he comes over while I'm doing my makeup and I look so dumb. And I'm like, I don't want him to see me like this. I know he won't judge. I know that I could wear a trash bag and he'd say, oh, you look fantastic. But I just, I can't, I can't handle it. I don't want him to see me like that. But then I reminded myself, which you need to remind yourself when you do your makeup, because you're probably hard on yourself too and you need to stop, is that, we are not beauty gurus. I mean, you might be. <laughs> I'm not a beauty guru. I don't have to do my makeup perfect. People know I'm not the best at makeup. I did my clown makeup video and I said in that video, I was like, I am not a professional at this. I just like add a little disclaimer. And I feel like when people see that you aren't a professional at something, they're like, ugh, you know what? Yeah, me neither. Like. Oh well, I'm not gonna say anything mean. And if they do, they suck. Hi, Huxley. He's back. <laughs> you see his little tail. You're so cute. Who's so handsome? Do your makeup because it's fun. Mess around with it. Like when I did that clown look, I never do stuff like that. Because I'm like, oh, I'm just gonna have to take it off and it's gonna be pointless. Do some makeup. Doesn't have to be perfect. You can wipe it off right after if you want. Or if you're feeling up to it, take some pictures of it put it on the gram or Twitter or whatever you use, or just send it to a family member. And I did my, I turned myself into Santa. I sent that to family members, I think. It's not uncommon for me to send you weird shit in the middle of the day. Um, another thing you can do is paint. You can paint IRL. Oh, that sounded weird. You can paint in real life, like actual, with actual paints. I hate oil paint but maybe I'll try that again, but I hate it because it takes like 5,000 days to dry. And it's like, you get it on your hands and then you can't get it off your hands and then you get it all over the bathroom sink and you can't get it off the bathroom sink. But what I really, really love, and like obviously not everybody has access to this, I like to draw on my iPad. You can also draw on the computer digitally. 
Um, you can get things to plug in and then you like draw on it. I had that for a long time. Sorry, my eyes are getting all weird. You can get like a more affordable ones for the computer. Or you can spend quite a bit of money on an iPad, but sometimes it is um, helpful for different people. I use my iPad um, for my business. I use my iPad for school. I use my iPad for YouTube. I use my iPad for overall entertainment, but like especially a lot of creative things. And I have Procreate on my iPad and I freaking love that app so much. I did not realize how much I was missing by not having that app. Harness my skills. That was terrifying. Making YouTube videos like this and just like making YouTube videos in general can be really um, therapeutic to me. It, um, it helps me a lot, actually. I find that I like, I like sitting down and talking. I love recording my gameplay. I love doing like actual like extravagant videos. Does that even make any sense? Where it takes a day to film it because we're doing like a bunch of things for it. Okay, this is kind of a joke. It's funny. Common cat music. I tried finding music for anxiety on, on uh, Spotify. I looked some up and it gave me this music that made me cry. Like it was like sad almost. That being said, I tried putting on common cat music and let me tell you the difference it made in my life. When I started listening to calming, no, calming music for anxiety cats or anxiety music for, I don't remember, life changer. Another thing I like to do is skateboard. I'm a skater. As you can see, my skateboards are in the back. I haven't really gone out um, the, yet this summer because I have had like really bad dreams about stuff. I had a little bit of a traumatic event happen to me when I tried to go to the park. Some guy went up to my car and was just being weird. I just, I, I can't, I can't. <laughs> Skateboarding is really fun and therapeutic because I can just keep going. Drinking my cranberry juice. What's the meme? Is it cranberry juice? Uh, skateboarding cranberry juice and like Fleetwood Mac or something? I don't remember. Anyways, I would love like an Arizona iced tea and like to be skateboarding and just chilling. Drinking my Arizona iced tea. It's just, it's nice. It's so fun. You could just like, you can get into the rhythm of it. Um, every year, and I, I, I say this and I don't usually tell people this because I'm a little bit embarrassed. When I skateboard, like when I start skateboarding for the year, I am really, really bad at it. I am horrible at it. I will I will say this here and now. I don't want people to think that I'm just this great skateboarder. I am horrible at it, okay? I am wobbly. Sometimes I get the hang of it and then I get better, but I'm like so wobbly and like awkward and stuff like that. So you don't have to be great at the things you love, okay? Um, I still absolutely love skateboarding. So, oh, that'd be, oh, that's such a good vibe to think about too. You can do anything. So if you wanna go skateboarding or you wanna go for a stroll outside, you do that. You do whatever you want. You can go for a drive with your friends. If my friends aren't busy and I could just, I could text them right now and be like, you know what, let's go for a drive and then be like, Bet, go for a drive with your besties. Another thing you could do is bake. I mean, both meanings to each their own. By my bake, I mean baking some cookies. Brownies are really great, they're easy. I like to make healthy stuff with bananas. There's like so many healthy cookies you can make with bananas. Because afterwards I can have some and I have to try and not to, um, binge out on them or just eat the freaking brownie okay you know what your life i told you you could do anything you want so baking baking is great baking is fun you can make cool summer drinks or you can make a nice barbecue oh my god family barbecues in the backyard the vibes oh i love that i love when people have like cookouts and you just like hang out in the backyard and you're eating like hot dogs this like the trashiest thing, but they're good because they're on the barbecue. Plan a family cookout. Another thing you can do is take a bath. This is an obvious one, but I like, I added a bath with a movie. If I'm watching short YouTube videos in the bath, I'm using my phone. But if I am going to watch a full on movie or a TV show that will automatically play 
like keep playing like Breaking Bad I finished that show already but I used to watch in like the bath or like watch it while I was doing art um that's fun I put the iPad up on the counter so it's like away from the bath water because that would be very very bad if it broke I would sob so yes I mostly use my phone though for like watching YouTube videos because I think it's water resistant or you can just put a life proof case on it and then it will be waterproof and you can watch bath or <laughs> you can watch YouTube videos movies TV shows why I say that so weird or whatever while you're taking a bath and it's relaxing and sometimes I even light a candle beautiful and it's just you it's you time listen to a podcast while doing a fun simple task i like to listen to uh different podcasts while i'm doing uh tasks while i'm cleaning while i'm sorting something while i'm drawing while I'm, like just so many different things or if i'm doing my um delivery i deliver newspapers h3 podcast the very really good podcast there's so many of them that i listen to and i, I love them um so yeah a podcast while you're doing anything Emma Chamberlain's podcast is pretty good. I love Nicole Raffi's podcast, um, Talk Nasty to Me. That was all, that's all of the things that I do so that I could think of. Um, maybe I do more things. Not every day is gonna be perfect. We make mistakes, we have those days. Uh, okay, Hannah Montana. Is that Hannah Montana or is that Miley Cyrus? I have no idea. I just, I don't keep up with the, that cinematic universe. So if you guys enjoyed that, you guys like hanging out with me, listening to me, subscribe to the channel. That would mean the whole world to me, okay? Every time I hit a subscriber, I am through the roof excited. Like the video, comment down below what you would do, um, something that helps you cope, keep it, you know, PG or whatever. You can follow me on Instagram. You can follow me on Twitter. All of them are Melorio, sometimes with an extra O, sometimes with two extra O's. It really depends who has stolen my name. I will see you guys in the next video. Have a lovely day. Have a lovely day, evening, a, a lovely summer. Peace out. Goodbye.